design your own life. With Dima Satya Lismana. Subscribe, tekan tombol bell, share dan like videonya ya guys. Terima kasih. But it all begins with you, and it all begins inside of you, and it all begins with your mind, and it all begins with your unconscious mind. For most people, they're going to see lack and limitation, partly because it's already been programmed in them, partly because they're paying attention to the mainstream media, and I tell people a big tip, turn off the mainstream media. And why do you say that? Because it is programming you, it's called programming you for a reason, it's programming you for lack and limitation. It knows your hot buttons. It knows what you're afraid of. It is going to focus on that. It is going to highlight that. And if mainstream news can't find something bad that happened today in London, it'll go find it in Texas. Select the information. You're feeding your brain. You're feeding your soul. You're feeding your unconscious, subconscious mind. Select it with some sort of wisdom and discernment so you program yourself for this abundant life. So they both exist. You have to have the awareness that when you were growing up, uh, your parents probably did not have an abundant uh, attitude. I tell people your parents probably were not enlightened. They were probably not Mr. and Mrs. Buddha. You know, they probably had their own hangups, their own programming, their own lack, their own limitation. They downloaded it to you. You were a kid. You didn't know any better. Then you go into the culture, you go into the media, you go into the education system, and it's not, it's not programming you for survival. It's programming, I mean, it's programming you for survival. It's not programming you for thriving, for excelling. And so at some point, if you're lucky, you see a movie like The Secret, you read a book, maybe by me or one of the other authors out there, you see a show like this, and suddenly there's an aha. Suddenly you awaken and you go, oh, maybe life can be different. Maybe I don't have to see lack everywhere. Maybe I can see abundance. So to me, there's an optical illusion. They're both available. You get to choose. And how can I practice that state of abundance? Is yes. that through an affirmations? Oh. Yeah, and I, I mean, love that I, question. You know, oh, I can talk to you forever. A few is... basic ways, you know, because also oh, a, yeah. lot of, a lot of people watching us will say, Joe, Brian, if I look at a street and someone else looks at a street, it's the same street, it's the same people, it's the same. But a lot of people will not understand that actually they'll pull all of these cultural dialogues, right. personal dialogues, and they'll see the things they want to see exactly. to continue that scarcity mentality. That's right. They're going to see it unconsciously. It's going to be coming from the paradigm they already have, the mindset they already have, which is in their subconscious slash unconscious. So when they look, they're looking consciously not realizing what they're seeing is being filtered by the unconscious. So when you change that, that bottom line programming, what's underneath the software, you're gonna see something different. So here's the best technique. It's a technique that comes from 1900, from the book Pollyanna. It's called play the glad game. And the glad game is you look for something good. Just start looking for something good. The rule of thumb is there is something good in everybody and in every situation. And there are some people and some situations that will challenge you. <laughs> but you've got to focus, you got to look, and you got to say there's something good here. But if you stay with it, you're going to start seeing the good everywhere. That's a simple, easy, doesn't cost anything, begin it right now way of using a technique to start to move into abundance.